So I usually wing these things, but the fact that I actually have notes right now is kind of a big deal. So the question for today is how much does your mindset affect your life? Like how is it affecting you and how is it affecting other people? My name is Maddie. I graduated two years ago with my bachelor in strategic communications, which was like a mix of advertising and public relations. Um, I didn't love it because I personally didn't feel like it was very ethical. I saw a lot of mental and emotional manipulation happening in that industry. And so I vowed to myself to never get a marketing job and just to work for myself so that I could actually incorporate my own values and actually offer people things that help them, that I don't need to manipulate you into believing or to thinking that you need it. So after I graduated, I wrote a book called Make Your Own Magic. And it's basically just the mashup of of everything that I've learned over the past four or five years. After I published that book, I got certified in a thing called heart math. It's basically just a very holistic way of staying healthy and staying happy and making sure that your mind, emotions, and your body are always totally in sync with each other, uh, just so you can be your best self, feel your best, and live your best life. So why are we talking about mindset? Mindset is the basis of everything like actually everything everything you do everything you see around you all originated in somebody's mind at one point like this bookshelf at one point was just a thought so your thoughts have power to actually become real things and if you're in a negative mindset chances are you are not going to be able to be productive and be successful and feel abundant so i'm here to give you the mindset that's built for success and for actual happiness and ultimately fulfillment just to give you like a little example of what i mean by mindset affecting you and affecting others is like just just imagine these two situations first situation you walk into a room and somebody's in there who just has a bad vibe they bring everyone down ends up not being as fun they didn't even really do anything specific it was just like their vibe was off and it was not straight up not a good time so that's one situation or there's also the flip side where maybe you're hanging out and it's fine and then somebody walks in who is just like happy, full of energy, ready to go, they're laughing, they're having a good time. And it's like, as soon as they walk in, the whole energy of the room just bumps up and like it's lighter, it's more fun. You're now all having a great time. And it's like that person really did just walk in the room and bring the life of the party. The difference between those two people is mindset. Like I can guarantee you that the negative person, they have a negative mindset and they are probably going around with this heavy backpack of I can't do this and I'm not good enough and worries about the future or the past or they're regretful and they're just straight up not having a good time. And because they're in a bad place in their mind, they're going to project that out into their environment and you're going to feel that. You're going to see it in their behavior. You're going to feel it when you're around them and it's actually going to rub off on you. Whereas the, the positive person who's the life of the party, you know that being inside their head has got to be a good place. Like they've got positive thoughts, they're happy, they are grateful, they're looking at the bright side and things. Like the whole overall vibe of a person stems from their mindset. So if you are somebody who wants to have a positive influence, these are the people I'm trying to talk to. The people who want to do big things, the people who want to change the world, who want to heal people, who want to heal themselves, make the planet a better place to be. You naturally influence people, but you're going to be able to do it a whole lot better if you have a good mindset because people will be attracted to you. Whereas if you're always worried and you're down about yourself, people will literally be repelled by you and they won't wanna to listen to you. They won't wanna spend time with you. So I have a couple of tips. First tip, super easy, become aware. Pure awareness, just noticing something is what begins the entire process of transformation. Once you're aware of what your mindset looks like and some of the things that you're telling yourself and that you're thinking repeatedly, change will start to happen naturally. Tip two is to intentionally think positive thoughts. Joe Dispenza, he is an author. He's always talking about like the mind-body connection. He talks about like quantum leaps, a lot of mindset and emotional stuff and how it affects your life. But he described that how we think and feel becomes our state of being. So if we're thinking and feeling crappy things, our state of being is gonna suck. Whereas if you do the opposite, 
and you're you're weeding out these negative thoughts and intentionally thinking good things, your state of being and your experience of life is going to become more positive and lighter and more successful. And you're going to become more potent and energetic and uplifting and people are going to be drawn to you. Tip number three is to catch the bad thoughts and throw them away. Like literally when you notice yourself thinking a negative thought, instead of like reinforcing it, worrying about it, just see it. Notice that it sucks and say, see ya. Like, okay, I'm not gonna continue down that line of thought. I'm just gonna replace it with something a lot better. And this affects you, it affects your whole life, and it affects the people around you more than you could even know. You are literally a drop in an ocean and your one little drop will send out ripples for the rest of eternity. So it's important to get a hold of your mindset now so that you can make the big changes that this world needs to see. So you're gonna learn a lot more about this in my new seven week course, it's called Heal Your Mind. It's a lot of inner work and self-reflection and just getting in tune with yourself, with what you're feeling, with what you're thinking, the thoughts that you don't wanna be thinking anymore, you know, just really shifting your mindset into a mindset of creativity, abundance, and fulfillment so that you can make the change in the world that you're wanting to without holding yourself back and being stuck in these mental prisons. So I'm so excited to keep teaching you guys more. If you guys have questions, feel free to DM me. I will answer anything. And I will be doing a frequently asked question towards the end of this launch. So just stay tuned. Um, I think you can like turn on notifications on my profile somehow. Don't totally know how, but that might be really useful. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.